Enchanted Forest Water Safari featuring the new Curse of the Silverback presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. If you've ever wanted to try experiencing the Adirondack wilderness from a kayak, but have been a little bit intimidated to do so, we suggest that you stop by the Mountain Man Outdoor Supply Company and they can hook you up just off Main Street and you can be in the Adirondack wilderness within minutes. I'm here on the banks right now of the Moose River just before you get to Old Forge and this morning Clark's going to tell you how you can take the mystique out of getting onto the waterways here in the Adirondacks and create your own adventure. Well, the Moose River itself, I just got to mention, this is a huge natural resource for the town of Old Forge. On, on a good weekend, we could have, us alone, 80 boats on the water at a time. You have three options. We can take you upstream to the North Street Bridge. We'll launch you from there. It's all flat water as you paddle back to our dock, except for a little shorter rapids. It's, uh, it's called Indian Rapids. We got a little carry goes around it. Okay, piece of cake. Option number two, we launch you off the dock right here. You can paddle this whole stretch up to the Indian Rapids or, and you can paddle downstream to the Lock and Dam, which is the old broken down dam. And that in itself is a good three hour round trip. Now I suggest that people when they do that, that they take a picnic lunch with them and then just hang out there, go swimming and then paddle on back. It's a beautiful trip. Now the North Street trip is much more of a wilderness trip. As you're paddling that, there's a good chance that you'll see otter, you'll see herons, beaver we've got beaver actually uh, building a house up here and now we now have moose in the area they have relocated we've uh, had our folks have seen them down the stream about five miles and then in the winter time the snowmobilers found the antlers up at rondax i'm sure it has a lot to do with the serenity and I'm gonna use the term spirituality of being on the water. It's really quiet out there. It's really relaxing. It's easy to do, especially the kayaking. And it's a nice easy float that as you're coming down a river, even though there's a lot of other people on the river, you're all going at the same pace. You feel like you're the only one on the river the whole time. It's really beautiful. If you'd like to explore some of the other small ponds and lakes that are nearby, you can stop by Mountain Man here and they'll hook you up by loading a kayak right under the top of your car, give you all the equipment that you need. So just bring an adventurous spirit and add another page to your own Adirondack Journal. <laughs>